This is the unofficial cartoon guide to He-Man and the Masters of the Universe by James Etock. And on the back you can see Buster Toons Productions 2010 No Barcode. This book was limited to a thousand copies, sold by Mr. Etock himself, also known as Buster Toons, from his website, the He-Man and She-Ra blog, um, a couple of years ago. Now since sold out, so these are quite difficult to get. I do believe uh, they are coming out properly, but I'm quite proud to own this. This is uh, one of a thousand, so that's fantastic. As you can see, it's still in its original plastic bag, which I have opened, so let's open it properly and have a closer look. We a bit of tape on there. Uh, this guy produced these books himself. Um, a thousand copies, like I say, so it's quite a nice little thing to own. And you can see we've got the glossy cover. That's not officially He-Man, but we know it is really. On the back we can see this is Eternia, He-Man and the Master of the Universe debuted in the UK on September 5th 1983 and within weeks it had an audience of 8 million viewers. In the months that followed the show became a worldwide success. At the height of its popularity the series was broadcast on 166 television stations across the USA alone. Not only that but by January of 1985 Master of the Universe merchandise had sold in excess of 1 billion dollars. Filmation produced 130 episodes of He-Man and the Master of the Universe and enjoyed further success with She-Ra, Princess of Power. By 1986, Filmation had produced 223 episodes of He-Man and She-Ra alongside two specials, a movie and a Christmas theme special. The unofficial guide to He-Man and the Master of the Universe is written by James E. Tuck, who has been an online presence in the He-Man and She-Ra community since its inception in late 1995. After co-creating one of the most popular He-Man and She-Ra websites of the mid to late 90s, the He-Man and She-Ra episode review website, he has worked professionally for Mattel and numerous other companies on the Master of the Universe brand. The unofficial guide to He-Man and the Master of the Universe meticulously covers each and every episode of the series, featuring 700 plus pieces of trivia, 460 plus deleted scenes, 360 plus examples of animation reuse, 380 plus quotes, 50 plus abandoned episodes and a lot more. This is the book that no fan of the series can be without. Um, this book is amazing. With it being unofficial there is no pictures, it's all just writing. But the content of that writing is absolutely phenomenal. Now let's just talk about James E. Tuck for a second. I first heard this name from the Contender releases of the He-Man DVDs uh, quite a few years back now. Uh, James Etock, aka Busted Tunes, as he will insist on, and a guy called Dave Newman did the commentaries there. And they were absolutely brilliant. Um, they're not on the US releases, however James Etock does appear in the special uh, features on there. But the UK version of the DVDs, these two guys made absolutely fantastic commentaries. Um, they got up to volume 6 on single releases and then 7, 8 and 9 you had to buy the box set to get the last three editions because something went wrong with Contender, I think they were going out of business or something. And um, yeah, we didn't get them separately, so you had to buy the box set, but well worth buying. It's absolutely brilliant. Even if you've got the US versions, it's worth it for these guys' commentaries alone. Um, he also does a Serial Geek magazine. You might have seen that about. And it's like a retro everything from the 80s. A bit like my channel, but in a magazine version uh, with contributions from various people. Um, he was also on the special features of the Time Life Ghostbusters box sets, if anyone's seen that, released in the US. Not something we got over here, which is very irritating. So, James E. Tuck, Buster Towns, top guy. And this is his book. Like I say, limited to 1,000 copies. This is pristine condition. I got this from James himself off his little website thing and a fantastic book 
Um, I'm not going to show you every page because this video would go on forever. But you got an introduction, a bit about the author, how to use a guide, uh, episode lists, season one, season two, um, season one. So here we go, we've got a first episode, we'll do this one The Cosmic Comet. Tells you who wrote it, who directed it, who approved the script, who final script revision, UK air date, which characters are in it, a synopsis, the moral, um, trivia, and there's loads there, deleted scenes, same as is the um, animation reuse, I think, yeah, it is. Memorable quotes, Mattel's merchandise, so it tells you which toys actually appeared in this uh, episode. The power of He-Man, and uh, that's just about He-Man's powers. Savage Henchman, I think that's just about Beastman there. And a little review at the end, and he gives it out of 10 rating. Um, and he does that for every single episode in the entire run of, what was it, 130 I believe, goes on forever, absolutely brilliant amount of content, uh, James collects animation cells from the uh, original Filmation series and this guy's knowledge is second to none as far as uh, He-Man goes, I think if you got Luke Scheimer and uh, James E. Tuck together <laughs> James would far outshine in the knowledge of He-Man. At the back we've got abandoned episodes, little synopsises of what never came to be. And there's quite a lot of them. Rejected premises. Untitled rejected premises. And then right at the back he's got his ratings. So his 10 out of 10 shows, Taylor's Quest. Into the Abyss and the problem with power, so that's his top three there. Going down, let's have a look what was his worst episode. A one out of ten, The Greater Sean Eternia, fair enough. Time doesn't fly, I'm not familiar with that one. And in the back we've got an index, so you can jump to whatever episode or subject you're looking for. So this is a fantastic book, highly recommend it. If you can manage to find one of these, like I say, it's out of print now. Only a thousand made, but if he does redo them, be sure to get yourself one. If you're a He-Man fan, this is absolute gold. So, James, thanks, mate. This book is just such a gift to uh, He-Man fans. And uh, thanks for watching, you guys. This has been Luke with James Etox, He-Man and the Mass of the Universe. Unofficial cartoon guide. Hope you've enjoyed seeing this book. If you're interested, I hope you managed to track one down. This has been Luke. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.